Okay, hi, it's Mr. Hessel. Um, right now you're looking at my main screen for my iPad, um, and I want to take a look at Google Classroom. Um, it's going to look like a white square with like a green chalkboard in there. Um, for me, it's right towards the bottom of my screen, so click that. And uh, these are the classes. Your classes will also be laid out um, there. Um, I don't know of a way to change the order of classes uh, within the iPad, you can change the order of classes on the desktop version um, and that's what I did. I put my um, physics and astronomy class up first and then any professional development classes that I'm in are down here. Um, so you can reorder your classes however you like. Uh, so I wanted to show you, first I unarchived a class from last year um, just to show you what that looks like and that's the top class right here so let me click that. And so the first thing that comes up is the stream. Now, if there are announcements or things that I need to tell you guys, um, I can I'll, I'll use the stream for that because there's no other way to make like um, whole class announcements. Um, but otherwise, that's really the only thing I'm using the stream for. Whenever I add new material or anything like that or give new assignments, it will show up in the stream. But I'm go I organize all of my material in classwork. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a middle tab that says classwork, and so if you click that, you can see all of the different categories. Now, um, oh, let me just check this guy here. Yeah, so you can actually, um, the topics, you can't collapse them to make like just a topic list. They're all just kind of like a big long stream. So these are all from uh, when we did um, remote teaching and learning last spring, but that's a lot of scrolling. So what you can do is at the top of the screen, there's a little triangle at the top right. And if you click that triangle, then you can filter by topic. Um, and so it's going to have a lot of the same topics like this year into uh, as opposed to last year. But I'll show you one of these this year's classes in a minute. Um, also, if, uh, for the, if you're doing a Google Meet with Google Classroom, um, there's a, the box up here at the top right of the screen, the box with the triangle that kind of looks like an old-timey camera, uh, that's what you use for Google Meet. And then, there I am. Uh, uh, so, if you want to join the Google Meet, you can do it that way. So, anyway, um, let me go and show you a current class. Now, current class is nothing because I haven't shared anything to the classes yet. So it's nice and clean to start. And the topics have nothing in them, but then you can see all of the topics as they're laid out. Now, as I share things to these topics, they're going to populate with assignments, worksheets, notes, etc. But I have assignment postings, do nows, lab activities. If the lab is an assignment, I'm going to put it in assignment postings. Then we have worksheets and problem sets, notes, handouts that are not notes, say like your reference table. Um, solution sets to the problems as they come along, uh, they'll be posted there. And then the bottom is all review material for uh, quizzes and tests. Um, not really sure how quizzes and tests are working right now, but um, if they were review, review materials, they would go there. And then midterm and regions exam uh, prep and review are down there at the bottom. So that's how that goes. Now, one other thing, I think they call it the hamburger, the little menu at the top left here. If you click that, you can click on your calendar. And then uh, as you get assignments, um, and I put dates on those assignments, they will show up on your calendar. Like you can see here that I had a science department meeting that was put on my calendar. Labor Day is on the calendar. I have a meeting tomorrow that's on the calendar. And there's nothing else there because we haven't started school yet. Um, but it's a way of, of keeping track of your assignments. At least when I give assignments, I give a, a due date that will auto-populate the calendar so you can see it if you want to use the calendar. Up to you. 
And uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show you around and show you the Google Classroom, how it appears on the iPad. I did a separate video it had on how it looks in a uh, Chrome browser, but I think most of you are going to be using iPads, um, especially in class. Okay, thanks.